What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, we are going to learn how to play any PlayStation games on Android. Guys, I'm not kidding and this is definitely not a clickbait. You can see clearly I'm playing PSG games on my Android device. For your kind information, my device has just an entry-level chipset but I can run PSG games with high definition and 60 FPS by the help of PPSSP emulator. Today, I'm going to guide you how to set up PPSSP emulator, then settings, and best configuration after that control customization and at the last how to install rom on ppssp emulator you can say it's a complete tutorial my humble request to watch the full video carefully please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button The PPSSP emulator for Android is a popular application that can turn any Android device into a PSP console. It's well known for its high compatibility and performance. User can download the app from Play Store and it supports various features such as customizable graphics settings, support for different input methods, save states, multiplayer functionality, cheats and many more. So let's get started. The very first step we will do, we will download the PPSSPP emulator on our Android phone, launch the app. Now PPSSP will ask you to select a folder where it will install PSP data. Just you have to click on the OK button. It will take you to the internal storage of your mobile where you need to create a new folder and give a name like PSP and click on use this folder. It will allow PPSSPP emulator to store data in this folder. Find Finally, we are now inside the PPSSP emulator. You will be created with this screen. Here, all the games will be displayed at the left side, on the right side, and top bar. There are other options and settings. Though we have launched the application for the first time, there will be empty in the game library. So we need to download and install some games. It's better to be mentioned that PPSSP also provides some demo games itself. Just click on the homebrew and demos button, which is at the top bar. Now click on the PP. SSPP homebrew store. You can see there are few PSP games available but these games are not interesting and I think none of you would like to play this game. So we will download our favorite PSP games and install them manually. Before we start playing any games, check out settings menu because there are lots of different settings, therefore a lots of customization which will be helpful to ensure the best experience. Under the section of graphics, you can see backend option which is the default selection of Vulkan. You can also change it to OpenGL. It can be very phone to phone or game to game. I suggest you to use both of them to identify the best one for you. Now for a display resolution you must try the native display resolution to avoid unwanted crashes if your device is highly configured you can try up to 4x or 5x PSP for better graphics during gameplay if you notice that your phone is struggling then turn this down to one time PSP I recommend turning on auto frame skip for the smoothest gameplay possible at the bottom, turn on show FPS count and show speed option if you want to see game information. One more favorite feature of this app is the control menu because there is a lot to do here. You can turn on and off touch screen controls. For example, if you have a Bluetooth controller, you wouldn't need this touch screen controls. If you want to edit the touch screen controls, you can move add-on buttons, change the size of the buttons and pretty much customize everything you want. That's why I would like to give 10 on 10 control customization of PPSSP emulator. In the audio menu, just leave it as default. Now I'm moving to the system menu. There are lots of options but I don't think you need to change anything here. Don't be afraid because if you screw something up, there is an option here to restore PPSSP settings to default. Now let's load the game on the PPSSP emulator. So to the game option which is at the top bar then open the browse folder it will open your internal storage and navigate to the folder where you have stored psp games if the file is in gif format at first you have to unzip or extract it then move the game to the folder tap on the use this folder which is at the bottom it will allow pp ssp to get access to this folder 
Now it's time to launch a game and get experience how this emulator can run PSP games on Android device. Here I'm playing Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. You can see it's playing smoothly. There is no way to figure it out. I'm playing this game on my Android device. I'm playing this game on one time resolution. If you increase the resolution, the quality of the video will be increased. You can see average appears is 60. If your device is highly configured, you can try up to 4x or 5x PSP for better graphics during gameplay if you notice that your phone is struggling then turn this down to one-time PSP in PP SSP emulator game states can be saved and restored at any time you can play with high definition 4k 60 FPS you can use external keyboard controller or you can customize on the on-screen touch control if you need more information you can join our discord server I will love to help you I would like to recommend everyone to try PPSSP emulator because it's free and full of features that creates PSP environment on our Android phone. If you think this video is useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. No more today. See you in the next video. Take care.